Have you ever stopped to ponder the power of vaccines in our lives? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? To fully appreciate the relevance of this query, let's delve into the fascinating world of vaccines. Vaccines, in essence, are a marvel of modern medicine, acting as our body's training course for fighting off vicious invaders. They are the unsung heroes in our ongoing battle against an array of diseases, from the measles to the mumps and even the dreaded polio. These microscopic powerhouses function by introducing a weakened or inactivated form of a disease-causing organism, or antigens, into our body. This encounter prompts our immune system to spring into action, producing a battalion of antibodies tailored to combat this specific invader. The beauty of this process lies in its subtlety. It's a mock battle, a dress rehearsal, if you will, preparing our body for a potential future onslaught. If the real enemy dares to invade, our immune system is primed and ready, recognizing the intruder and swiftly neutralizing it. And it's not just about individual protection. Vaccines are the cornerstone of herd immunity, a collective shield protecting even those who are unable to get vaccinated. By reducing the number of susceptible individuals in a community, we can effectively halt the transmission of disease, safeguarding the health of the entire population. But vaccines are not a modern invention. Our ancestors, in their wisdom, had stumbled upon similar concepts. Ancient systems of medicine like Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine recognized the principle of introducing a small dose of the disease to protect against it. It's a testament to the enduring wisdom of our forebears and the timeless relevance of vaccines. So, whether it's the polio drops that children around the world receive, or the annual flu shot that keeps influenza at bay, or the much-discussed COVID-19 vaccines, these tiny vials pack a powerful punch. They are our body's personal trainers, our community's shield, and our world's hope of a healthier tomorrow. So, vaccines are more than just a prick on the arm, they're a lifesaver. To appreciate the marvel of vaccines, we must journey back to their origins. Imagine a world before the comfort of modern medicine, where the threat of disease loomed large and unchallenged. It was in these ancient times that the rudimentary concept of vaccines first took root. In the grand tapestry of history, the Chinese were the first to dabble with the notion of inoculation. They employed a technique known as variolation, a primitive yet surprisingly effective method to protect against smallpox. The process involved grinding up smallpox scabs into a powder and blowing it into the nostrils of healthy individuals or inserting it into a small cut. Rather gruesome by today's standards, wouldn't you say? Yet it held the seed of a profound idea, using the disease itself as a shield against future infections. Fast forward to the tail end of the 18th century, and we find ourselves in England with a country doctor by the name of Edward Jenner. Jenner's contribution to the world of vaccines is legendary, and his story is worth recounting. He observed that milkmaids who had contracted cowpox, a disease similar to but milder than smallpox, seemed immune to the deadly smallpox that ravaged the population. Inspired by this observation, Jenner embarked on an experiment that would change the course of medicine forever. He took pus from a cowpox sore, and using this, he inoculated an eight-year-old boy. The child developed a mild fever, but quickly recovered. Later, when Jenner exposed the boy to smallpox, he remained healthy, proving that the cowpox had protected him. Jenner's smallpox vaccine was a monumental leap forward. It gave birth to the practice of vaccination, a term derived from the Latin vaccinus, meaning of the cow. It was a nod to Jenner's original experiment and the humble bovine that made it possible. Thus, the foundation was laid for what would become a revolution in medical science. The birth of vaccines marked a turning point in our battle against disease, setting the stage for countless breakthroughs in the centuries to follow. From a rudimentary beginning, vaccines underwent an impressive evolution. The 19th and 20th centuries were particularly transformative in this regard, with scientific strides that shaped the very essence of immunization. In the 19th century, the spotlight shone brightly on Louis Pasteur, a French biologist whose relentless curiosity led to significant breakthroughs in the world of vaccines. This period saw him developing the anthrax and rabies vaccines, both of which proved pivotal in controlling these deadly diseases. 
Pasteur's work was groundbreaking not only for the vaccines he developed, but also for the methodology he introduced. He pioneered the concept of attenuating or weakening pathogens to stimulate an immune response, a principle that remains at the heart of many modern vaccines. As we moved into the 20th century, the evolution of vaccines continued at a brisk pace. The century was marked by a series of triumphs in the battle against infectious diseases. One of the most significant was the development of the polio vaccine. In the mid-20th century, polio was an epidemic, causing paralysis and even death. The introduction of the polio vaccine, developed by scientists like Jonas Salk and Albert Sabin, brought hope and relief. The oral polio vaccine and the inactivated polio vaccine, both products of their efforts, have been instrumental in the near eradication of polio worldwide. But it wasn't just about individual vaccines. The 20th century also saw the advent of combination vaccines, such as the MMR vaccine, which protects against measles, mumps and rubella. This innovation allowed for the simultaneous administration of multiple vaccines, enhancing efficiency and improving coverage. In essence, the evolution of vaccines was not just about the development of individual vaccines. It was also about the refinement of methods and strategies, the expansion of the scope of diseases that could be prevented, and the enhancement of public health on a global scale. Vaccines were not just evolving, they were transforming the landscape of public health. This transformation remains ongoing with the promise of even more remarkable breakthroughs on the horizon. With the advent of modern biotechnology, the science of vaccines took a quantum leap. The world of vaccines has been transformed thanks to the innovative techniques and cutting-edge technologies that have emerged in the field of biotechnology. One of the most significant developments in this sphere has been the creation of genetically engineered vaccines using recombinant DNA technology. This groundbreaking technology allows scientists to manipulate the genetic code of an organism, altering its DNA to produce a specific protein or antigen. These antigens, when introduced into the body, stimulate the immune system, priming it to fight off future infections. A prime example of this is the hepatitis B vaccine. Hepatitis B, a potentially life-threatening liver infection, was once a global health concern. However, the advent of recombinant DNA technology provided a breakthrough. Scientists were able to isolate a specific protein from the hepatitis B virus and genetically engineer yeast cells to produce this protein in large quantities. This protein, when injected into the body, mimics a hepatitis B infection, stimulating an immune response without causing the disease. This vaccine was the first of its kind, marking a revolutionary moment in the history of vaccine development. It demonstrated the potential of using biotechnology to combat infectious diseases, opening up a whole new avenue for the creation of safe and effective vaccines. Moreover, the utilization of biotechnology in vaccine development is not just limited to recombinant DNA technology. Techniques like gene editing, nanotechnology and bioinformatics are being harnessed to create more targeted and efficient vaccines. These advancements are helping us tackle diseases that were once deemed untreatable, changing the landscape of global health. The journey of vaccine development, from its humble beginnings to the cutting edge science of today, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The integration of biotechnology into this journey has accelerated the pace of progress, enabling us to respond rapidly to emerging health threats. Biotechnology has indeed pushed the boundaries of what's possible in vaccine development. It has unlocked new possibilities, taking us closer to a world where no disease is beyond our reach. Despite their numerous benefits, vaccines have had their fair share of controversy. Our journey brings us to a point where science and skepticism intertwine, casting a shadow of doubt over a field that has saved countless lives. Perhaps the most notorious controversy is the discredited claim linking vaccines to autism. This theory originated in the late 90s, when a study now retracted suggested a connection between the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine and the onset of autism. Despite numerous subsequent studies debunking this theory, the damage was done. The seeds of doubt were sown, and they continue to flourish in the minds of some, fueling vaccine hesitancy. 
vaccine hesitancy, the reluctance or refusal to vaccinate despite the availability of vaccines is a complex issue. It's influenced by factors such as complacency, convenience and confidence. While it's easy to dismiss these individuals as simply misinformed, it's crucial to remember that their fears are often rooted in a lack of trust in the system, a system that they believe has failed them in the past. This hesitancy has real-world consequences. Outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases can and do still happen. The re-emergence of measles in parts of the world where it was once eradicated is a stark reminder of the power of collective immunity and the dangers when it's compromised. It's not all doom and gloom, however. While the controversies are many and the challenges daunting, the scientific consensus on vaccine safety remains unwavering. Vaccines undergo rigorous testing and monitoring to ensure their efficacy and safety. The World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and countless other health organizations around the globe continue to advocate for vaccination, armed with a wealth of scientific evidence. Despite their numerous benefits, vaccines have had their fair share of controversy. But let us not forget the lives saved, the diseases eradicated, and the suffering prevented by these remarkable tools of modern medicine. While the controversies are numerous, the scientific consensus on vaccine safety remains strong. Vaccines have another impressive capability, preventing certain types of cancer. Yes, you heard it right. Vaccines, traditionally associated with preventing infectious diseases, have a significant role to play in the battle against cancer too. Let's take a moment to appreciate the marvel of the human papillomavirus, or HPV, vaccine. HPV is a group of viruses that includes more than 100 different strains, some of which are known to cause various types of cancer. The HPV vaccine, developed in the early part of this century, targets the most dangerous types of this virus. Now, why is this important? Well, HPV is associated with a significant proportion of cervical, anal, oropharyngeal, vaginal, vulva and penile cancers. A vaccine that can prevent HPV infection, therefore, has the potential to prevent these cancers. This is a profound shift in our approach to cancer prevention, moving from detection and treatment to actual prevention. The success of the HPV vaccine has opened up new avenues for research into other preventive vaccines against cancer. Hepatitis B and C viruses, for instance, are known to cause liver cancer. The hepatitis B vaccine, then, is not just preventing a liver infection, but potentially a cancer, too. As we venture deeper into the 21st century, the line between infectious diseases and cancer is starting to blur. Viruses like Epstein-Barr, human T-cell lymphotropic, and Kaposi's sarcoma-associated herpes virus all have been linked to various forms of cancer. The development of vaccines against these viruses could significantly reduce the incidence of these cancers in the future. The potential of vaccines in cancer prevention is immense. By targeting the infectious agents that cause these cancers, we can stop them before they even start. This is the power of preventive medicine, the ability to nip the problem in the bud, to stop cancer before it can even take root. Vaccines, therefore, hold promise not just in preventing infectious diseases, but also in combating cancer. They represent a beacon of hope in our ongoing struggle against this formidable disease, lighting the way towards a future where cancer is not a death sentence, but a preventable condition. As we look to the future, the field of vaccines holds immense potential. The horizon is awash with promise and the dawn of personalized vaccines beckons us. Imagine a world where vaccines are tailored to your unique genetic makeup, offering protection with unprecedented precision. No longer a one-size-fits-all, but a bespoke shield against disease. In addition, the ceaseless pursuit of knowledge teases the possibility of vaccines for diseases currently without a cure. Imagine the eradication of the spectre that is Alzheimer's, or the triumph over the elusive HIV. The realm of the impossible is being encroached upon by the march of scientific progress. And let's not forget the potential for vaccines in the fight against antibiotic resistance, a looming crisis of our time. Vaccines could offer a path to stave off this threat, a beacon of hope in an otherwise bleak landscape. The journey of vaccines is far from over, 
In fact, it's just getting started. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to SciSips for more insights into the world of science and technology. Until next time, remember, the future of healthcare is here and it's exciting.